In this video, we'll see about the orientation part with respect to the Excel cells. Now, when I say orientation part, if you want to tilt your text in some angle, you use the orientation part. For example, I have some text in this area A and B column. If you see in cell number A1, I have MXXL VBA. If I want to tilt it into some angle, I usually go to this alignment group. In this place, I click on this play. So these are the different orientations which you can select. Suppose if I select this angle counterclockwise, you see the direction changes here. If I again go to this place and if I select as angle clockwise, the direction again changes here, right? And there are so many options which are given. If I want to do the same thing with the help of Excel macro, okay, how do I work with it? So first thing is I'll make into a normal mode, okay, in the uh, horizontal banner. Let us see back if, if I use Excel macro, how I can change the direction of this text into this cell. So observe this, I have written the text into this L orientation sheet. The file is same Excel VBA. I'll come back to this, this Excel VBA, okay. Now in this place, if you see there are different sheets and there are different modules which are created. I'll just minimize this sheets, I don't want this. Now if you see, I'm in the L orientation, that is the module name, I've changed the name of this. Inside that module, what I've done is, I've created here sub procedure that is orientation. Now in this place, I've written some data here, if you see, that's a macro which is written. It says range a1 dot orientation equal to zero. Now this is the angle of the text you want. Now when I say zero, it is nothing but in the horizontal manner. If I say range a1 into 10, uh, a1 orientation equal to 10, that means it is in the 10 degree, okay? 10 degree which is tilt here. 20, 30, 40 till 90 I've written everything, right? So what I'll do is now, I can just press F8 from my keyboard to execute that step by step. Now if you observe here, if I press F8 from my keyboard, the first time F8 from my keyboard, again if you see, observe here in the cell number A1 what exactly happens, F8 from my keyboard, yeah. Right now it is in the 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree, 40 degree, I am pressing F8 and I am getting the tilt area on that place, 60, 70 and so on. And finally when it comes 90, it will come in the vertical position. Now if you want to cross verify, you can just go back to this place and if, if I keep my cursor here, okay. If I go to this orientation part, you see rotate text up, that has been selected here, okay. I have done the macro inside that, I have changed the setting part and here I can see the reflection given here, right. So if I go back to that place, I have to end the execution part, I will just click on this step into, okay, and that has been done, okay, that has been done properly. So I hope you are able to understand, if you want to tilt some text into your Excel cells, how do you do it with the help of Excel macro itself. That's all for this video. 